Ga Edge Duvan Gaitan Yab Hu Leng Yok Da Jij Je Vaj Parha Cha Much Eos So Vas Giti Pal Bak Hol Le I Pit Le Me Duj Vaj We Ho Leng I J Length vaj ho Leng we Got veti dak Milo eos We le Christmas Gen to ji Ga jati we Luch vaj Pit le ji ga lo we Quet loch patit Suman Pit la mu gam Jipa quit to tul ji kwa pa vuv vum je so vaj ji. Hey guys, how do you like my Klingon? Hopefully, I didn't butcher it too much. Um, let me show you what I used. I actually used my Klingon dictionary. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is an older one. I had gotten this when it first came out. Let me see. Um, the year. I think it was around Star Trek 3, The Search for Spock. It says, yeah, based on Klingon language, Star Trek 3, The Search for Spock. And that came out in 84, so this book is probably 84 or 85. Anyway, I wanted to do the introduction to you guys in Klingon as I introduce you the Hallmark keepsake, Klingon Battlecruiser. This is the Battlecruiser that was shown in Star Trek The Motion Picture at the very beginning. If you remember, there was three of them, and they were going through, and they were making contact with V'ger. And their first instinct was the fire, and they were amazed that their photon torpedoes disappeared. And then, when V'ger fired, um, it destroyed all three of the ships. And that was the beginning of the movie. So, this is from Hallmark. It's another magic keepsake ornament. You can see the box art. It's got a pretty cool picture of the ornament itself. Klingon Battlecruiser. And as usual, I'll put up some photographs. And a little bit of information on the back to, sh to share with you. Klingons are the most ruthless and feared enemies of Starfleet. And the presence of these menacing warriors in space is made all the more fearsome by the ominous appearance of their battlecruisers. Expressly designed for war, the ships are equipped with powerful weaponry and defense systems, including disruptors, photon torpedoes, and cloaking devices. Like a dangerous predator, slyly lurking in the cold reaches of space, a Klingon battlecruiser is usually not welcome sight for crews of our Federation starships. And it says, press the button on the ornament to see the Klingon battlecruiser's light illuminate. The battlecruiser... You remember the um, during the original series, it was the D7 um, Klingon battlecruiser, and it was marketed as a model kit, actually as the Klingon, the alien Klingon battlecruiser, or the Klingon alien battlecruiser. Anyway, without further ado, um, why don't we open it up, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I keep the box. In sight, yeah, we'll put it right there. You can see it's it's wrapped up. Put in plastic wrap. The detail on this is pretty wild. Look at the detail on that. You can see all three of them in the movie. Look at that. I hope the camera picks up the uh, the detail. 
Like I said, I will put up a lot of pictures, as I usually do. Look at the belly. The Klingon symbol. And that's where you put in the batteries. You can see the little screw. This is really, it's really cool. A really nice little piece. So what I'll do now is I'll pause the camera and um, I'll put the batteries in because you can see the, the batteries are in a tray and when I light it up I'll show you guys. Alright, so I put the batteries in. Let me put it down for you. And just the camera. So you can see there's a little compartment underneath, a little screw. And when you want to activate the lights, there's the button on top. You push the button. You can see the... Well, I don't think the photon torpedo part lights up. That's too bad. If you can see, it does not light up. But you can see the, the top of the secondary hull. And the thrusters. That's pretty cool, and the uh, the detail is really really nice. Cause they're so small, a lot packs a lot of detail into this small little model. But that's uh, I was hoping that the front would light up too, unless it, it is, and I just can't see it. Let me activate it. I'm sorry about the shaking thing. Oh, it does. Look. It actually fires the three photon torpedoes. Oh, that's amazing. That's really cool. Did you see that? Let me try to activate it for you again. Now, I'm not crazy, I just saw that light up three times, right? Maybe once it's in the dark, we'll be able to see it better. But let me show you some of the, a little more of the detail. You can see a lot of the kind of like aztec pattern. Not aztec but kind of like feathers. I've got the 1350 scale model of this kit that came out last year, and I'll be doing that soon. I'm looking forward to doing that. You can see the, the Klingon logo. And you got the vents on the sides. This is really cool. The thing about the Hallmark is the, the detail is amazing in these little models. So let me try to get it to fire at you one more time. Up oh, there it goes. One. Well, there. Well, it does fire, so that's pretty cool. I thought it would have done it three times like in the movie. Let me put this down. Let me see. This might have been... A release in... I'm not sure offhand because I can't see it on the box. 2009. So this is a 2009 release. So the batteries could be old. Well, they are old. And they could need to be replaced. But to me it's new. And when I got it, it claimed that it was in new condition, never open. So let me activate the lights for you one more time and I'll show you her thrusters. It's like when she's leaving. So let's go ahead and we'll put her on a Christmas tree and we'll see how she looks. So put her on a tree. You can see, looking pretty, pretty much at home, looking pretty good. Let's see who's she next to. She's next to the, the Enterprise. And the Enterprise. 
<laughs> and the Enterprise. I, I'm sorry for the camera because I don't have the, the eyepiece. So I'm messing it up and doing stupid angles and I apologize. Anyway, let's activate her. You can see the see her firing her photon torpedoes. That's really cool. I said the detail in this is really, really amazing. And that, my friends, is the Klingon Battle Cruiser from Star Trek The Motion Picture. And to quote our Klingon friends and our Vulcan friends, live long and prosper and kapla. Thank you.